सो टुडे आई एम हेयर एट वॉलमार्ट कन्वर्स वॉलमार्ट लार्जेस्ट फ्लैगशिप रिटेल टेक इवेंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ पीपल लेड एंड टेक पावर्ड अप्रोच इज शेपिंग द फ्यूचर ऑफ रिटेल इट्स गोइंग टू बी सुपर एक्साइटिंग डे वेर वील एक्सपीरियंस हम फायर साइड चार्ज विल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू टॉक टू लॉट ऑफ गेस्ट एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द रिटेल स्पेस एंड हाउ ए आर इज शेपिंग द रिटेल टेक वर्ल्ड एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस जोन वेर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सपीरियंस सम ऑफ द लेटेस्ट इनोवेश ऑफ वॉलमार्ट What is the unique and different perspective you see in Walmart Converse 2025? If you look at the last four years to now, we have always talked about how technology is coming and helping retail as a business unit. Yeah. But we are at an inflection point where technology is creating a leap, not just an incremental innovation, and that is through AI. So this year, I'm so excited to talk about how Walmart is adopting AI, all AI-related technology, and that seems to be the unique flavor of it. and then we, so far we seems to have a lot of good inquiry questions and curiosity yeah i think you know i still remember the very first uh, edition of converge uh, we did that during covid so it was all virtual uh, out of our offices in bangalore and most of the sections were on zoom yeah so to now see it come alive five years later in the fifth edition with 1200 people live with many others watching it on zoom is indeed extremely gratifying Also, we had a fabulous kickoff with Suresh, Balu, and Nanda Nilakeni, talking about how AI is transforming uh, life as we know it. So, I just had a great networking session with leaders at Walmart, where I got to know about the cutting-edge technologies they are working on. I even got a preview of what kind of work is being done at Walmart Global Tech. Also got to understand about what career opportunities they had, and had a one-on-one -on -one interaction with many, many Walmart leaders. A great space to be there to understand about the ecosystem and to also get career opportunities. This is our talent acquisition career booth. We are talking about the opportunities what Walmart has, and also about uh, what good products we are making in the retail tech world. What Walmart is always looking for, and right now specifically, is somebody who is building large-scale systems. and is rooted in ai like we're going the ai route in a very big way and we are looking for people who will enable that for our future of all the products that we are building okay, i would say one thing that's now accessible and being we were able to make far more sense of it is data technology and now powered with ai to all my women entrepreneurs out there i would just say please if you have an idea that you feel is differentiated believe in yourself that's the first step take that first step get started it's not always as tough it, you know i've been with walmart for almost 35 years now so i've seen a lot of change in that time and i've watched us move into the international markets to include india and build you know our center here that has a, a, a sizable presence so we are at the experience zone here at walmart converge and we are going to see the latest innovations that walmart global tech is making so let's go and see these experience zones and understand what walmart is doing so this is the patent wall where a lot of patents by walmart have been listing so you can so you can see this patent where uh, check in to check out systems and methods was built by walmart and you can see the entire tech stack and abstract here it's it's super cool super amazing and the innovation that walmart has been doing from walmart to the entire world right this this looks super amazing so with big background you know this is the app which facilitate user to associates to pick up the inventory faster which is moving in the sales floor so the whenever there is an inventory that is coming in the store it gets stored on the sales floor first mm. remaining will go to the back room right Got it. so as and when inventory moves as and when threshold is breached that minimum inventory has been bypassed so now something has to be brought on the sales floor that's where the signal is being generated for the you know inventory associates every day on a designated time goes to back room to find out but i have the functionality here where i can stand 4 feet away from the aisle you know and scan everything that is visible to me wow and when it is visible to me there is a blue overlay that appears in appears on the markers and is visible on my phone so through that i can detect what is to be picked i will bring everything out at once take it to sales floor bank so right so whatever has been done in 100 minutes now can be done in 5 minutes so think of uh, a large company especially we have presence in country like india right the customers are largely global customers 
So with AI, you can create a digital twin of your customer. So the engineers here can interact with a different persona of customers and understand um, you know, how, what the behavior of the customer is, and that way they can design product which is relevant for the customer, as an example. Yeah. Right? So that is how um, AI is driving uh, innovation enablement. So let's talk a little bit about where AI is being typically used in the beginning. Yep. Um, as it gets more and more precise in the non-security domain. And then AI security is also in another domain where they're using applications mm -hmm. which have AI enabled in them, within yep. them, right? So to ensure that any assets from the company are not leaked outside to malicious actors. Imagine you have a stable platform on which you can just put all the cases on one top of the other mm. and haul this whole platform at once into the truck. Got right? This stable platform, which is typically made of wood, is called as a pallet. We want to maximize the space utilized, I think it is right? And then we, we want to ensure that the pallets do not tip over. It's You are like building a big yeah. Jenga, right? Yeah, yeah. Essentially, it's like a Jenga. Yep. So you want to ensure it doesn't tip over during transit. And lastly, you would want to look at global optimization. I want to ship in such a way that it is easy for my stores to remove these items and stock it on the shelves. We just had an amazing experience inside the 3D immersive dome. So we have seen the entire process within Walmart from supply chain to the end product delivered to the customer's home. So when he was purchasing those strawberries, I could smell strawberries inside. So you can see it's a 4D experience. Super exciting and a lot of people are experiencing it here. So now we are at this Sparky booth and let's understand what Sparky actually is. So can you tell us more about Sparky? Sure. Sparky is a enabled shopping assistant okay. that enables customers to enhance the shopping experience, plan for any events, or for product discovery, or ask any specific questions about any product within mm. Walmart. Got it. Okay. Can we this try is, it out? Yeah, sure, definitely. This is Walmart e-commerce application. Okay. And this is the entry point for Sparky. So if I'll do it from here. So now we launch this Sparky. So we can either go with the queues that are already coming with, or we can start with a new query as well. So let me plan with the event planner, right? Okay. I want to plan a party. Okay. Now Sparky is asking what event are you planning for? So I'll choose Birthday for an example. Now Sparky will curate all the products across different categories and this curates all the products and gives me all the products in one place. Wow. So you can choose, pick and choose the products that you want. For example, if you want to purchase a birthday cake, yeah. If you want to purchase uh, some candies, if you want to purchase some toys, you can add all of them to your cart and this is how it can be checked out. Simple prompt or a simple chat boat known as Sparky that will help make your shopping experience more immersive with Walmart. Credibility and confidence is built for the user. Yeah. That's the place where it is changing. Previously, it might have been more to do with, say, brands which are actually communicating that. Now it is a lot more creators, influencers yeah. who are actually communicating what is good or otherwise. Because with more information, yeah. access, people are able to trust, trust others who have that information and then go through. So that's what I at least believe it's going to just further give tailwinds to overall digital commerce. And at least within Mintra, what we are doing with say things like Ultimate Glam Clan and other things, mm -hmm. those are really helping. And we are able to see the trend live for us on how that is actually shaping. So hi everyone, I have with me Shalini Kapoor. She's the Chief Strategist at Data and AI. And we are going to ask her more around Citizen AI and what has been the gap between what the companies are delivering and what is expected out of them. So um, welcome to the channel and if you can share your perspective around Citizen AI, what is the current state of Citizen AI, what are companies delivering and what are people, like, what are citizens expecting out of it? Yeah, um, so I think I would like to focus on, from a Citizen AI perspective, uh, it is going to be used by millions and billions of people, right? Yeah. So scale is important. Uh, and while we build scale, we have to first understand the interaction mechanisms as to how people interact with AI systems. Yeah. And that is through voice. So it is going to be voice enabled and that's how the architectures have to be defined to create them voice interaction based, language based, people based, because people ask questions in their mind based on what they think. And this is how Walmart Converge wrapped up. I got a chance to talk to a lot of Walmart leaders guests who were there for panel discussions, keynotes, and I had an immersive experience understanding a lot about retail tech 
having been a part of these experience zones and getting to experience what all cutting edge technologies Walmart is working on cloud data analytics e-commerce supply chain optimization and a lot more and Walmart global tech is the backbone of world's largest retailer Walmart my experience here was great and I am surely looking forward to 2026 where I am going to attend Converge again and you can also attend and stay tuned with whatever is happening on Walmart global tech social media handles I'll give them in the description below go and check that out right now